it's now super easy to read HTML from Tasker. Check it out. Here, here I have some HTML in a variable. It's just a simple web page, a sample. Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, and then I use a flash action to show it. So right now it does this. Now let's say I want to get this div item here and get it and get its inner text. Well, to do that, I simply do this html.div and that shows the text. Now this div part here is a CSS query so you can uh, replace this with any other CSS query but since CSS queries can be a bit complicated instead of using the dot notation you should use this for for most queries so this should also work the same but um, if you know a bit of about CSS you'll know that for example the div is inside sorry <laughs> Um, the div is inside the body so we can have a query like this body and then div and then greater greater than div this means that I want a div that's inside a body and though and then there you go so if it, for example if I had another div in here Let's see, if I put another div in here, and this will be inner, this should get should still get the same div because uh, this div is the, the child of this body, but this one isn't. So I still get how are you. If I want the other div, I could, for example, get a div inside a H1. So if I replace this with H1, I get the inner. Now if I don't uh, specify what's inside, it'll, get, it'll simply get the first one. So in this case, it's the inner. And if I want, I can even get an array of all of them. So I get inner and how are you? And then here I can use any task any tasker uh, array function, for example, the count two, or let's get the last one like this. How are you? Or even uh, the first one, which is just for example one inner. You can use any array function here like you normally would in Tasker. So this is how you can now read HTML from Tasker with CSS queries. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!